Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Retarget Common. Today, I am going to start this session series on my YouTube channel. I will try to cover all concepts of recessive from basics to advanced as I cover on my blog. I will not make very lengthy videos and uh, I will try to cover the concepts in, in a very short form so that you will learn the concept without spending much time. You must give all suggestions and feedback so that I can make my videos better and hopefully you will like this series. So just to give you an introduction of race assured so we can see that this assured is an automation tool for the REST API testing. Okay, or something, a tool which we can use to automate REST APIs. So, since we are not uh, covering the API concept in this particular video, don't worry that I will cover in some other videos just to give you a basic idea uh, about API. So, API stands for Application Programming Interface. And we can understand this term better if we remove two letters or two words from API that is called application and programming and just focus on the word called interface. So we we use mobile right so anyone being a technical or non-technical any person can use mobile or can interact with mobile or use the features provided by mobile without any uh, tech, uh, what uh, without any like uh, specific skills right how that is possible because there is an interface between human and mobile that we can call a screen if someone gives you that uh, whatever uh, whatever is inside the mobile like it might be PC board or some different different electrical tools or something right we cannot we cannot interact or we cannot use the features of mobile right is it possible for anyone to use mobile because of an interface okay take any example you see television or you take any example of air AC or refrigerator Okay, anyway, you have an interface so that you can communicate or you can use those particular devices. Okay, similarly, now add those two words application and programming with our word interface, application programming interface. So when there's two programming, two programming based applications, okay, if they want to communicate with each other or one uh, module or one application wants to communicate with another module, there a bridge needs to be established and that bridge or that interface can be called as an application programming interface because that medium is also programmed, right? Let me give you one real-time example. We use Facebook, right? And let's suppose I go and register myself or create an account on Facebook with an email ID called abc at gmail.com. Okay, if I go and try to re-register with the same email ID on Facebook, I will get an error. So Facebook will give me an error that this particular email ID is already used. Right? So we can guess that there will be one module in Facebook that will be the start a user module. There will be another module which will be responsible to check whether a user is already exist. Okay. So before the a user, this module will communicate or will ask another module, hey, I am getting this email ID or uh, whether this email ID is already registered with Facebook. And based on that decision, they will go whether to show the error message or whether they need to create a new account for them, right? So the external module needs to discuss or needs to communicate with uh, check duplicate module, right? So that uh, interface or that medium can be also named as API, 
okay because there will be one way so that the register account will send a request to that particular module and based on whatever response they will get it will come back to the extra module and the next operation will be performed okay so this is in short api so api can be anything which facilitates or helps to communicate one module to another module or one module to multiple modules it may be one sided or it may be multi uh, by both the sided both sided okay or something like in a two application can communicate with each other okay that is possible because of api okay it's nothing a big deal or nothing like very big concepts it's a just a medium and that is api okay so let's assert it is java library which can be used for testing and validating rest services or api or web services okay so api or web services are more or less same when any apis or when any api works on network that we can uh, consider as a web service so don't worry i will take i will take uh, the detailed videos on this concept later i hope that you have some basic idea of api so that i am starting this series if not don't worry i will cover okay so like uh, so like if you see the resource website they mention that the api testing in java was not so easy if you compare to ruby or groovy languages so this assured brings you that simplicity and flexibility in java so that you can easily test this api in java okay so it's a open source and that is the reason it's very famous like we have seen it which is also an open source and which is used to automate ui based or web based applications okay so some more about this is like it is built on http builder and supports post get put delete options patch and head request only okay so this episode is developed and maintained by johan helve he started this project when he was working with the jw and uh, this this uh, project is now sponsored by park style okay so you should notice the word jw here okay why we'll see in the next slide so let me go and show you the uh, actual thing like uh, why i'm saying that uh, you should uh, notice the word jw okay so let me go to maven central repository okay and uh, let me search for this episode here okay okay so if i go to this episode so here we see one result and the group id starts from io dot this episode right and just below that we have another maven dependency that starts from com dot jw dot this episode if i go inside okay so it was till 2.9.0 okay and after 2.9.0 it from this is 3 it was it become io dot this is so from jw dot this is right why because uh, because now it is maintained by the park star right that's why they have changed the group id and uh, from selenium 3 same Uh, sorry uh, research to 3 we have another one uh, io dot research code okay we can see it start from research code 3.0.0 or you can call 3.0.0 okay so that's why whenever i have seen many people who always go and and copy the wrong dependency or outdated dependency you should always copy or add the dependency from io dot research code package research code group id okay that's why i said that you should focus on the term uh, on the company name jw okay so now when i am recording this video so the latest version is 4.3.1 and uh, i always 
force i always think that we should always use the latest version and we should always keep updating as well because you don't upgrade then at a time it will be a huge change or it will be difficult you to migrate okay so i've covered all these three points okay so like since version 3 its group id updated to io.ssu from com.jw.ssu okay so little more about this ssu it support json schema this json schema validation so don't worry if you don't understand this term i will cover everything it support json path and xml path it can be easily integrated with string mock mvc string web test client scala and kotlin so you can go to resource github uh, link because it is an open source and you can also contribute to their code base okay and the java doc is available i have given the link here and uh, you are a beginner or you are a uh, experienced guy you we should always go through with the java doc because whatever information they give in the short form or short uh, sentences you never find anywhere okay and uh, release notes we should always keep eyes on release notes because what is going what when the new version is coming everything will be there change change log this is again important thing to know because what is changing we should know we can easily get to know in the change log okay and if we, because it is an open source and we must support those developers who are providing us these useful libraries and if you want to help joan by contributing same amount you can go to the link whatever i have given him in this slide and help him okay so that's it for this slide and in the next tutorial or in the next video i will i will create a um, non maven and maven project and will start our first api hit using this server so thank you everyone and if you like this video you can subscribe if you don't give me chance to convince you that it will be good if you subscribe my channel yeah thank you thank you everyone